today we are making chicken uh, tomato parm sandwiches. Uh, actually, it's only one sandwich because it's only me eating. But we are going to use our chicken leftovers from the previous video. If you didn't watch that, I will link it down below in the description box. I saw that I got a bunch of new subscribers, so welcome to you guys. If you are not yet subscribing, please click the subscribe button and then you will get um, a notification every time we post a new video. Okay, so let's begin. Today it's all about how to use the leftovers from the chicken that I made in the previous video. Um, we're going to make a chicken parm sandwich. You will need what I have here. I have bought a fresh baked bread. You have the leftover chicken, parmesan, fresh mozzarella, basil, one garlic and then uh, the Italian tomatoes. First step is to prepare the tomato sauce. So just mince one whole clove of garlic. couple of leaves of fresh basil. Make sure you save some of them because you're also going to need them in the end. I'll also add a bit of salt, not a lot, just a little bit. And black pepper. The next step is to cut the mozzarella cheese. Just cut it in thin slices. The next thing you do is you cut the bread and I will be cutting it in half. And then you cut once down in the middle. To assemble the sandwich you put the bread in a oven safe tray. So you just put butter on the bread. Next step is just adding the chicken. I have a little piece here, so I will do, take two pieces. Then you add some mozzarella slices. Next step is grating parmesan on top. And then it's actually ready to go into the oven. So you put it in the oven on 220 degrees on the hot air. Next thing you do is you add some of the tomato sauce. And you add it on both halves. Then you just put it back in the oven for a couple of minutes more, just so you know that the tomato sauce has heated up. Now it's out of the oven. The last step is just to grate a little bit more parmesan. And garnish with fresh basil leaves. Let's try and put this together. Let's try and cut it 